Hey everybody, this is Dust for Dustin on Gaming, back with episode 4, match 1 of Arclight Phoenix and Modern. This particular version, we're going back to the basic Is It configuration, which is probably the most popular of the three between Teamer, Is It, and Monored. This particular one has a different spin on it with four copies of the card Terramander. I guess we're going to be flying, seeing if Flying Man with Upside is good enough for modern, a deck full of cantrips and such. So friendly reminder, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, and leaving a con constructive comment down below. So, this is your usual um, thing in the ice, Arclight Phoenix build. People have been trying to find what's the best uh, like tier 3 threat in the deck, whether it was Monastery Swift Spear, or Pyromancer's Ascension, or people have been trying uh, Traverse the Uvenwald, uh, Crackling Drake, to be able to supplement the various um, threats in the deck. Uh, this particular list has no Snapcaster Mages, which I think might be incorrect, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, and then finally, you know, you have your usual cantrips, your Serum Visions, your Thought Scours. Uh, four copies of Opt. This version is electing to go back to Shard of Course to be able to put more instant sorceries in the graveyard for powering up your Terramanders, for flipping your things in the ice faster, for getting your Arclight Phoenixes out quicker. Uh, throwing two copies of Lightning Axe, so you have eight discard effects, which are pretty nice with the Arclight Phoenix builds. Um, that's one of the complaints I've had, is not having enough uh, discard outlets to get our Arclight Phoenixes in the graveyard sometimes. Sometimes, you know, having to be really careful about when you cycle your Faithless Lootings, you know, it's nicer to be able to be a little bit more freedom with that. Uh, four copies of Lightning Bolt, two copies of Gut Shot, and the two copies of Lightning Axe here. <clears throat> go after creatures, Lightning Bolt and Gut Shot can obviously go at the face. So basically you're a three threat deck. We're trying to play a Delver-esque strategy now with Thing in the Ice, Terramander, and Arclight Phoenix. So you have some Good early game, some good mid game, and a little bit good long game as the decks always had with recursions of Arclight Phoenix in the main deck. So hopefully Terramander will be everything this deck's been looking for and more. Sideboard, Dispel, and Spell Pierce for the controlling decks in the format, also good against Burn. Surgical Extraction for the graveyard decks, anything from Storm to Dredge to <coughs> etc. Uh, Rending Volley. Um, as I've been told, pretty good against the Tribal decks, also good in the Mirror Match, pretty good against uh, Storm. Being able to punk out their Mana Dudes without uh, Remand getting in the way. A Braid's good for Shatter Effects and Lightning Strikes against Creatures. Blood Moon can come in against anything from Jeskai Control to Amulet to Tron. Anything where your opponent's either running a semi-greedy mana base or um, a big mana deck, so you can kind of punk your opponent a little bit. Uh, two copies of Anger of the Gods, uh, kind of a non in a Terramander and Arclight Phoenix deck, but sometimes you just need to be able to answer creatures like, you know, things like elves, things like humans, things like uh, Affinity, Zoo, etc. Sometimes you just need to be able to answer them all in one card. Beacon Bolt, kind of a third copy of Lightning Axe without the discard downside, but you do have the three mana cost downside. Can discard it for value later in the game, and then Dragon's Claw against the Burn decks. So, let's hop into a league and get this ball rolling, shall we? Uh, last time out we played a um, Mono Red Phoenix list. Did fairly well. Uh, we went 3-1, and, and then we ran into a very aggressive version of Red White Soldiers, which was basically human splashing Brimaz in some burn spells. It was an interesting deck, uh, did well at the Channel Fireball event out in Toronto. Uh, Magic's in a pretty good place right now. Um, you know, you, Standard's going strong, Modern's going strong. Um, you, know, you got the Mythic Championship this next, not this coming weekend, but the following weekend in Cleveland. Um, it's going to be obviously the old Pro Tour, and then uh, there's a limited GP. Um, I don't think we can keep a two can trip five land hand. Um, maybe there's some consideration with looting effects in the deck. I don't know. This hand just feels like it means too much. Sands a little bit better. Obviously, we have Faithless Losing ability to bring back Arclight Phoenix if we find something good. Um, 
Charmander. Charmander's pretty decent here. Um, I'm gonna just pass. Actually, I guess we could cast Faithless Looting here, since we know at least one card we want to discard here. Um, Arclight Phoenix, and actually kind of a tough one. I guess Opt. Maybe we should have waited one more turn before discarding. Looks like we're up against Mono Red Phoenix. So that means we can bring back Arclight this turn. I think we're kind of obliged to do that. Kill the Soul Scar Mage. Order Manamorphose and the Thought Scour into Do Red Blue here. Scar makes this a little bit awkward. So one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Kill this guy. Bring back Phoenix here. So next turn we should be able to play and activate Tarmander next turn. Stage and obscure the critics targeting me. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> do I play Thought Scour here, or do I just trigger? I think I'm just supposed to trigger Terramander here. we're currently winning the race. No sense in getting too cute here. Feels like a Manamorphose here. we we'll just let our opponent go nuts this turn. Triple Metamorphose. It's quite a bit of damage here. Okay, Spike, sure. So if we wouldn't have killed the mana or the Soul Scar on one, we'd be absorbing an enormous amount of damage this turn, or just be dead. I was probably debating whether they bolt. Okay. Sure. So if they... I guess if they have bolt, we're dead. Well, not quite dead, but we're in a lot of trouble. Puts us to one. If they have got shot, we're dead. <clears throat> Another Terramanda, huh?
All right, do we have a bolt? We're dead. Bolt got shot. Lava spike. Let's get rid of the critics. Apparently they have none of the above. All right. So Terra Manda proving kind of invaluable there. Um. Spell Pierce is probably these. A braid's probably reasonable. Definitely want these dragon's claws. Can bolts whatever. Spell pierces or maybes. Um good shot. Really doesn't do much in this matchup. Lightning axes are fine. Do we really want lightning axe is the question. <clears throat> We brought in the Abrades to do the same thing. While they're more mana efficient, they also put us down on cards. <laughs> so, pretty sure we keep this one. If our opponent leads off on a creature, we have Bolt. If they do nothing, we have Thought Scour and whatever here. Pretty sure this is a keep. Could obviously get run over, especially on the draw. But I think with Bolt and Thought Scour, Serum Vision, Spell Pierce is definitely a hand we want to keep. Or I could easily have um, Redding Volley for our th first thing in the ice, so having a redundant thing in the ice is kind of nice. Only thing that sucks is obviously only having one land. We hit a second land, we're kind of golden here. Alright, the opt makes it a lot easier to just tap out and pass the turn. Sure, if you want to bolt my face, that is perfectly acceptable. Your deck has a little bit of a harder time bolting me out from 20. So a spear, sure. So they would need to have double gut shot here to punish us. Apparently the answer is they don't. And the answer is the daily double. Doodly 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 doodly. Thing go. You have running volley. Cool. If not, you have to two for one yourself to get this off the board. Looks like a manamorphos. Yep. Sure. What they find? Lava spike and mountain. Okay. So. I'm just gonna plan on cycling a few cards, trying to find a third land here. Okay. Spell Pierce is obviously getting worse as we go along here.
Sí. So in some regards, I think uh, Manamorphos, or not Manamorphos, Surgical Extraction against this deck might be a tad bit overrated. I wasn't going to spell pierce that, but I think I'm just interested in finding a third land. I'm not sure what my opponent's thinking. They know my hand other than one card right now. So if they want to kill Thing on the Ice, now's the time to do it. And obviously if they have Running Bullet, it sucks for us next turn, but it's whatever. Gut Shot targeting me. Okay. They have a Lay at the Stage here. I don't even know why you keep in Gut Shot against me. I guess it's fine against Terramander, theoretically. I mean, Reveler is definitely annoying. That said, um, pain costs. Dismember. Alright, yeah, that one's annoying. So, one, two, three, four, five. Good chance we're just dead here now. Because I misplayed with the spell pierce. Really interested in both those cards, but I think the looting is going to have to... Hit the bricks for now. Play Terramander as a chump blocker for this turn. too far behind this game now that Thing in the Ice died, which I obviously could have prevented if I would have timed my Anamorphos and such correctly.
being really three hard between their three cards. If it's a bold effect or a gut shot, we're dead. I mean... Soul Scar Mage, sure. So, I don't even know what we could hit here. I mean... Looting, pitch two phoenixes. Yep, that's game. <coughs> so, since they're on dismember, am I more interested in... Dispel, possibly? It's possible we don't even want Gutshot in this matchup. Well, not Gutshot. I meant <clears throat> Spell Pierce in this matchup. Maybe Charter Course is just better, or more removal spells. Game one was really close. Game two, I I screwed up the timing. We should have won that game if our opponent didn't hit a dismember for that. Uh, or if we would have had a spell pierce for that dismember, then our opponent would have been unable to kill the thing in the ice before it flipped, and then that might have allowed us to leverage having enough time to kill them possibly. My entire game plan was built around that thing in the ice surviving. At least as far as pressuring our opponent enough once they had that Bedlam Reveler. Until they had that Bedlam Reveler, they didn't have a whole lot going on. It's one of the weaknesses of the, the red version of the deck is it does not empty its hand really, really quickly. And doesn't really have a ton of ways to refuel other than a couple of Bedlam Revelers and some light up the stages. Which don't get me wrong, are both great cards, but they're not really great in attrition -y style games. The deck's more trying to get get people dead more quickly. Alright, here's hoping to a good game three hand. Hand seems fine. I think we lead on Serum Visions though, looking for more copies of Phoenix. Of course, if our opponent has Surgical Extraction, that could kind of blow up the plane a little bit, so... Maybe we're not supposed to rely on Arc Light. But I don't know exactly how much I'm supposed to play around my opponent having potentially a 2 or 3 of. Six to five keeps their hand and scratch to the top. Lightning bolt and serum visions. I think I'm in the market for both those cards. Our opponent's seriously considering surgicaling here. <sighs> yep, Swiss Spear's dead next turn. <laughs> Not 
not playing cute, I'm just killing that. Another Swift Spear. Hopefully get to bring back a phoenix here. Sweet. No, surgical extractions for them. <clears throat> sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play Terramander. <laughs> Not going to activate it right now just to play around Gut Shot. Obviously, if they have Gut Shot plus Bolt, then we get Punisher a little bit. But I don't tend to take any moves here right now. So make it a 2-2, two -two, which is fine. Gut shot now doesn't do anything. Considering surgically extracting, I don't think they have surgical extraction. They have a gut shot. They would have killed this Terramander last game in response to the adaptability here. So. Terramander definitely proving very good in this matchup. Two mana five fives are pretty good. Our 
that doesn't have anything. They're just dead on board next turn. With one mana in play, they're going to be hard pressed to do a ton here. You got friend. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm just playing too cautiously here. And the opponent scoops it up. Alright, so... Well, I mean, Terra Manor definitely earned its stripes in that matchup. Um, kind of like this build of the deck so far. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on things, see how it goes. But Terra Manor definitely adds a unique threat and dimension to the deck. Although it does make it a little more vulnerable to Graveyard Hate. But this has been Dusk for Dusted On Gaming with Match number one of episode four with Arclight Phoenix Dex in Modern.